Hello, my name is Jose Gonzalez and I'm the Vice President of Governmental Affairs for Associated Industries of Florida. Welcome to this special AIF TV call to action. At AIF, we have often argued that state governments should operate more like a business. In virtually all of the instances where government has embraced this concept, success has been achieved. This year, Senator John Thrasher and Representative John Legg have put that concept into proposed legislation that will allow schools to operate on a more efficient business model. By giving school principals the flexibility to reward the teachers who can show educational gains in their students. Some of you are already asking yourselves, why in the world would AIF care about this issue? So let me tell you, it's not because we just want to fight the teachers unions. It's because making sure that Florida school children are well educated and prepared to compete in the global workplace is the single most important contribution Florida's businesses can make to securing Florida's future as an economic leader. Indeed, this goal is critical to the state's very survival as a great place to work and live. And now these bills, Senate Bill 6 and House Bill 7189, have found a way to keep good teachers in the classroom and allow them to continue their professional and personal development without forcing them into administrative roles as their only realistic means of financial advancement. But if teachers, the most important component in building that well-educated and well-rounded student, can produce a high-quality student, then they should be rewarded even highly rewarded with better pay, better benefits, and greater job security to thank them for a job well done. We always hear rhetoric about how government needs to work more like a business, but we rarely take steps that apply market-based solutions to government problems. This year is different thanks to leaders like Senator John Thrasher, who authored this bill for the Florida Senate and who is leading the charge to get this monumental and critical legislation passed. And now, with a special message to AIF members is Senator John Thrasher. Hi, this is Senator John Thrasher uh, from my office in Tallahassee. Uh, I just wanted to say hello to all my good friends at Associated Industries of Florida and let them know how much I appreciate all that you do for us on a daily basis. I wanted to specifically talk to you about one piece of legislation that's currently pending in the Florida legislature. Uh, it's about education reform and having the opportunity to pay our teachers a fair salary for the work that they do in our schools. It's an important piece of reform legislation that I think will make a difference to all of us, our children, grandchildren, and certainly our teachers in this state. This uh, piece of legislation is important to, to our workforce and the future of, of education in our state. I've heard from so many members of the business community about the need to make sure that our children are receiving a first class education. This particular bill will act, actually allow teachers who are having their children improve in the classroom be paid a salary that is commensurate with where they should be. It rewards good teachers and it gives them an opportunity to earn more money. It's the best thing we've done in a long time to support our teachers and certainly it's the best thing we've done in a long time to ensure that every child has the best and brightest teacher in their classroom. I hope you will uh, have the opportunity to learn more about this important legislation Please call Associated Industries and ask them more details about it, but also call your local legislators, particularly your House members, and ask them to support the important legislation dealing with reform and teacher pay. It's a good piece of legislation and I urge its great support among the members of Associated Industries. Although Senator Thrasher's bill has already passed the Florida Senate, the House companion measure is still awaiting passage. Earlier this week, the House bill was passed in committee. Opponents of the bill use scare tactics and threats, stating that teachers will lose their jobs or be forced to take 50% salary reductions. These implications are simply just not true, and Representative Legg and Chairman Will Weatherford went to great lengths during the committee hearing to set the record straight and alleviate the fears that wrong and misleading information has placed in the minds of the education community. Chairman Weatherford and members of the House leadership team should be commended for handling this intense hearing with such diplomacy and professionalism. In addition to thanking them, it is still important that the members of the Florida House hear from you. Call your local representative today and tell them to support House Bill 7189 and vote yes on this important bill for Florida's future. The full House will be hearing this important bill on Wednesday and Thursday of this week, so urgent action is needed. Please email or call your legislator. To find your state representative, just simply visit our website at www.aif.com and follow the links to find your representative today and urge them to pass House Bill 7189. AIF salutes the legislature's bold move to improve the quality of learning for our most precious resource, our human capital, 
I'm Jose Gonzalez, and this has been a special AIF TV call to action. Thank you for watching, and until next time, we'll see you in the halls.